Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and what I'm going to do in this video is take you through what is an ERC20 token, how do you get an ERC20 token, my Ether wallet is one of the most common ones or Mew, you will hear some people calling it. I will also show how you can look up an ERC20 token on the Ethereum blockchain and then take you through Metamask which is a plugin that can help keep your funds secure. So if this is my first video you've seen, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon as well to always get updates on what I am doing in the crypto world. So what you do with this one is, my Ether wallet is the most common ERC20 token wallet. An ERC20 token is a coin or a token that is created on the Ethereum blockchain. So they're called tokens really, they're not really coins, they are created in the, Ethereum ecosystem, you can create your coins. If you come over to Etherscan here, you can see all of these coins. So <clears throat> some of the more popular ones, EOS, Tron, Qtom, OMG, these are all ERC20 tokens. If you have the ERC20 token name that you want to look for, you can put it in here. If you have the address, you can put it in. Let's go into EOS just as the example. So when you come into any token, so any of them that you search for, you can see every transaction that has gone on with that token. You can see this one is very busy. You can see the total supply. You can see the value, current value of it. You can see the token holders, how many people actually hold it. You go, go into token holders and you will see the percentages here. So you can see one person owns 30% of, this is EOS, is it? Yeah, EOS and then you can go down through it. So again, you can't see who these people are, but you can just see the addresses, you can see the official info about the tokens as well. So how do you actually get a wallet that can hold the ERC20 token? So a lot of the ICOs that we're looking at are ERC20, they're asking you for your ERC20 wallet. So this is what you need to give them. You need to have a MyEther wallet or some of the other popular ones. I'm gonna stick with MyEther wallet here because it's the most popular. When you are going onto it, make sure that you go to myetherwallet.com because there are a lot of phishing sites out there that misspell the domain just to try and get your private keys because if someone gets your private keys, then you have no access to the wallet. So let's enter a password. For me, it doesn't really matter. I am gonna show you everything on this because I will never use this wallet. So download the key store file. To be honest, I normally don't keep these. I just keep the private keys safe, but this is another way to get back into your account if you need it. So download that. You can see it saves it to your computer and I understand. So now this is the code here that you never give anyone, okay? So this is your private key. I'm gonna copy this because I will need this again in a minute. Copy it into a notepad file. So you can see I have it saved here. So keep that secure as well as that. This here, print paper wallet. You guys can come into this here. So I'll remove that. So this is the this is your address. So this is what the sites are going to look for. This one here, I'll show you it when I go into the account as well. Copy for me. So I'm gonna copy that into my notepad file as well. That's the address of this wallet. <clears throat> and this is the private key that I showed you. So you can print this out, keep it safe. Don't let anyone see it. The public address here, anyone can see that. Anyone who's gonna send you coins will need that one. So we come back, we have that done. So now what we need to do is go to view wallet. To get into the wallet, you have a few options. You can get in using MetaMask, which I'm going to show you in a minute. That is my preferred option now because it's safer, it stores the keys for you, and all you have to do is remember the password. You can use your Ledger Nano S or your Ledger Blue. Trezor, these are hardware wallets. If you have a decent amount of coins, it is always good to get a hardware wallet. A digital Bitbox, not actually sure what that is. Keysore, that's the one we downloaded, or the private keys down here. So we'll use the private key to get in this first time. So I copy the key in here and unlock. This is your address. So this is your ERC20 wallet address. So that is the one that we copied that was on the print file here as well. As you go down through it, you can look at your private key here, but it doesn't matter, we already know what it is. And the same thing, you have this here, the private key is this one here. So we'll keep them hidden. Down here, you can see, over here actually, you see your Ethereum balance. So if you wanna send Ethereum to this account, you send it here. If you want to send any ERC20 
token to this account, you put it in, you give this address as well. And my Ether wallet will look at it and it will know whether it's Ethereum, or whether it's another coin. You can click on show all tokens here. They show all the different tokens, the standard ones. These ones here with the little minus on them, they are all custom tokens that I have added because they are some of the ICOs that we've got into. If you click on add custom token, you can put in the contract address. So for EOS, this is what you will be putting in. EOS is going to be there already, so I can't do this. But this is what you put in, the contract address, the token decimals, and then it is EOS is the symbol. So you will put the address in there, the token symbol is EOS, and then the decimals 18. When you click save, it would then add the custom token for you. That's really it on the inside. When you want to actually send coins, then you go to send ether and tokens. Again, we will go in with the private key, unlock, and then you put in the address you want to send the coins to. In the drop down, you can select what you want. So Ethereum or any of the coins that you have a balance for will appear here. Put in the amount you want. The gas limit then, the gas is how much you are gonna pay for the transaction. So this will vary depending on where you're sending it, depending on what the network is like. It's only ever going to be a few cents to maybe $2 if you put in a high gas limit and you want it sent instantly. Ethereum is fairly quick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I generally put in a high one here. I don't mind paying the dollar or whatever it is to get it sent quicker. So that is my Ether wallet. That is what an ERC20 token is. Now looking at MetaMask, which I mentioned before, you can see I have it up here. It's a, little, it's a Chrome and a Firefox extension. They actually have a Brave browser one here as well. I haven't used that. But basically you download the extension, add it to your browser. When you come into it then you can see I am already logged into my one. So these are the custom tokens that I've added. Just like my Ether, you can click on add a token and you put in the contract address. Normally with this one, when you put in the contract address, it picks up the symbol and the decimals for you, where my Ether wallet doesn't. It's, you can see anything you've sent through that. You can see the tokens. Again, I only have a very few tokens in this current account. I generally have a few different my Ether wallet or ERC20 wallets and I spread tokens across them just for safety, just in case anything ever happens. But if you want to send them, you can click here. And as well as that, you can store multiple wallets. So you see here, I have a few of my Ether wallets connected up here. And if you want to add a new one, you go down to import account. You want to import, you can import through the JSON file, which we downloaded, or through the private key. We'll do the private key just because I still have it in the notepad file. There's the private key and import. So then this is the account that we have just created and imported. I can see there's no tokens in this account. You can rename the account if you want to make it, if you have certain tokens in that one, you can give it a name, whatever you want to do. You can come up here, you can drop the account. So you can click on lose and it will remove that account for you. With MetaMask as well, when you go to log in first, you just need a password. So you put in whatever password you set on it and you can log in any day. One of the big advantages of it, if I come out of my Ether wallet, so when I am back here now, if I go to view wallet info, I can log in with MetaMask. And when you click connect, it will connect to whatever wallet you have selected here. So at the minute it is on account seven. So it is going to connect into that one, which is the one that we created. That's really it. It went a little bit longer the video than I planned, but hopefully this has given you a good look at what the ERC20 tokens are, how to find the tokens, how to set up your my Ether wallet and how to use the MetaMask plugin. Any questions, let me know in the comments down below. As I say, subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. Give the video a like and let me know if this has been valuable for you. Thanks for watching guys, I'll talk to you soon.